Hi, I'm Alexis. And I'm Jonas. And this video is about dealing with nerves. Jonas, what's wrong? Oh, sorry Alexis. I'm just, I'm a bit nervous about this video we're going to be doing. Ah, oh, that's totally natural. It's normal to get nervous before every presentation. Even us comedians get nervous before every single performance that we do. But nerves, well, they're not exactly a bad thing. They show you care. It shows that you want to make a good impression with what you're saying. You want your audience to engage with your words. I suppose the important thing really is to not get rid of your nerves, but know how to manage them. If you can manage your nerves, you can feel more comfortable and more confident when you're speaking. One thing that can often happen when you get nervous is you might be tempted to speed up. You might get jittery. You might over deliver and over say and say the wrong thing. Take a breath. Just remember to calm down. It's really going to help you control your speed and it's going to make you feel more in control of those nerves. One thing I always like to remind myself when I get nervous is that nerves are a physical manifestation of the same chemical response that you would get if you were being chased by a polar bear. This isn't a polar bear. It's just a presentation. It's worth trying to mindfully remind yourself of that fact every time you start to feel like your nerves are getting out of control. Here are some helpful tips to get rid of nerves before any kind of presentation or public speaking. The first is reminding ourselves that we're not just our minds, we're also our bodies. Make sure on the morning of a big presentation to start your day right and get moving. Before every show, we imps like to get rid of all the nervous energy in our bodies so that we don't bring it onto stage with us. So we do something we call a shakeout. Jonas, you ready to show them how it's done? Yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Then you go crazy. You'll notice that your heart's beating and you're ready to perform. So it's important to take some deep breaths so that you're grounded right before you go onto stage. But that's a really helpful technique about 10 minutes before you present, just to get rid of all those nervous, jittery energies and just imagine that you're shaking them out with every shake that you do. Another great tool for managing your nerves on stage is just to do a little bit of word association. It's really simple. All you need to do is just either by yourself or with a friend, start speaking aloud a word and then think of the next word that just comes to your mind and say it out loud. We'll do a little example now if you're okay with that. Sure, sounds good. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to think of a word like watch. Clock. Time. Hmm. Rosemary. Mint. Hmm. Cocktail. Blueberry. Pie. Apple. Crumble. Okay, yeah, I think that worked out well. The important thing is there's no right or wrong word. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. You're going to be unlocking your vocabulary as you do this. And when you find yourself in that critical moment of your presentation or your speech, you're going to be able to reach that word that's on the tip of your tongue. Another great tool before you start your presentation is to do some tongue twisters. Now we all know what these are, but sometimes when you have a presentation early in the morning and you haven't talked much that day, it's nice to get some movement in your mouth so that you're not tripping over your words while you're in your presentation. So there are two ones that we always like to do in the imps. The first is Unique New York. Can you do that for me, Jonas? Yeah, easy. Uh, unique New York. Unique New... New... Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, I can't do it. <laughs> so you're just trying to do it a couple of times just to get yourself kind of loosened up. The other one that we always like to do is red leather, yellow leather. Oh, red leather, yellow leather. Oh, that sounds really easy. Yeah. Okay, so, so red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow, red leather, yellow leather, red, yellow. <laughs> you can start by taking it slow and then try to speed it up. But again, it's more fun to trip up during a tongue twister than it is during your actual presentation. So just get yourself warmed up by doing them for about 30 seconds to a minute before you present.
The main thing to remember is that what you have to say is important and the audience is rooting for you to succeed. Whether that's a small classroom full of your peers at school or a huge arena of people waiting to hear what you have to say. You are the only person in the world who knows exactly what your presentation is meant to sound like. So if you make little errors or slip ups, it's completely fine. Just push through them with confidence. Hopefully, you'll find it really simple to use some of these tools to help manage your nerves next time you're doing a presentation. Thank you.